the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you. I appreciate you uh, uh, to joining us and doing our Bible study for the week. Um, and and they just, I break them down in segments. And so I and thank you for uh, taking time to listen to this one that you're going to listen to. And we will encourage you to continue to subscribe and, and, and make comments. And we'll just continue to allow the Holy Spirit to perfect us to do those things that are important. I do want to make sure that one of the things we talked about, the fact is, read the scriptures for yourself. Read the scriptures for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. Read it and incorporate it in your prayer life. And that's what I do. I like to read the one chapter of the New Testament in the morning and one chapter of the Old Testament at night. You can reverse that, but you need to read the scriptures for yourself and you get better appreciation for the teaching of others that teach the gospel because you they're lining up with the word of god the, the what we talked about today was once again we got the catholic church is is the pope is apologizing for some of the colonial tools and techniques that was used during that time uh that was really not lined up with the gospel the missionary that was a preach the gospel not encourage uh, they call it the doctrine of discovery which is really another colorful way of saying uh, of conquering and putting people in slavery and the fact is that that does not line up with the scripture but if people never knew the scripture people can read the scripture people don't understand the scriptures they can be deceived what i'm saying is for you in 2023 there is no excuse amen so listen to this the, the, this segment here uh we talked about the fact is that uh, the at least i use this one it still focus on the steal kill and destroy but i did put down there this title that uh, the Pope is actually talking about the, the doctrine of discovery. Uh, so the Catholic, the Catholic Pope is addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is a doctrine of steal, kill, and destroy. Taking other people's land, taking other people's lives, taking, just destroying who they are, for it, and try to say to do it in the name of Christ. And I'm telling you that that is not the doctrine of Christ. So let's, so that's why it's important for you to, be, to read it now. 2023, you don't have an excuse. Matter of fact, 2023 does not give you an excuse. You don't have an excuse for discrimination. You have no excuse for lying and, and trying to torment people and everything else. You don't have an excuse for it. You, you can't use Christianity to excuse. And that's what we want to make sure that you as a believer follow the way of Christ. John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. So we got to go His way if we want eternal life. That's a choice. Or you can continue to do the world's way. You can continue to do the rape, the stealing, the killing, the destroying. You can do all those things because you're not following Christ. But don't be deceived to say you are when you're not. That's the point I'm trying to bring out to you, man. So that's what the study is about. Uh, like I said, we'll break it out to A, B, C, and D. And I'll see you when I see you. And don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. And I'll see you later. Enjoy the study coming up. Bye-bye. All right. God bless you. Hey, good morning, everybody. God bless you. I hope you're having a great day. Um, what I want to do is that I've been traveling. Boy, I'm having some, some case of jet lag. But uh, let's go ahead and focus on uh, getting into... Uh, study, quick study today, uh, and this is the uh, 10th of September, and what I want to do, God bless you, man, I mean, it, it was preach, to teach, and preach the gospel, and, and, and what I like about the fact of the gospel is that we speak truth, and the fact is that it is time for us to rise and shine because a lot of cases 
we've been, there's a lot of misrepresentation of Christianity for a very long time. And, and I'm, I'm listen, it's not to sit there and, 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 and say something that's, that's supposed to be, uh, oh, I, I don't want to hear it. Because you don't need to hear it if you are not somebody that don't recognize the importance of being who you profess to be. You know, the Bible said that a tree is known by its fruit. If you profess to be a Christian, you should show the fruits of a Christian. And what we're talking about today is to show that uh, we're basically denouncing any bad fruit, corrupt fruit, that claims that it's supposed to be Christianity. We want the world to see who we are. And who we are is not some of the history ugly history. I mean, outright nasty, ugly history of, of Christianity. Where people profess to be Christians and yet not doing and keeping and holding on to the doctrine of Christ. Christ, Christianity is about love. It's, it's, it's about sharing the gospel that God loves all of us and God has sent his son to redeem all of us. It's not about whether it's, a, it, you know, the, some of the debates are talking about uh, older spirituality and doctrines. It's, it's about our doctrine now. It's about the doctrine that is in the Bible that we use and profess as Christians. And yet, we need to make sure that people understand that what the actions of people, and I call the actions of the fruits of bad fruit, is not who, is not the teaching of the gospel. And I do recommend that people read the Bible. You know, I've, I've talked recently, the fact is that very few people, only 15% has read half of the Bible. 30% only knows a few sentences and a few stories in the gospel. And they profess to be Christian. And it's not to say they're not Christian, but it's saying is that they are not equipping themselves. It's almost like saying the Bible talks about you come in as a babe and then you both graduate to meat. If you, you if you don't take the milk, the sincere milk of the word of God meaning reading it and studying it for yourself. You must study this gospel. Read the gospel for yourself. Don't depend on other people to, to explain to you <laughs> Christianity uh, or explain to you what it is to be saved and, and not teach and read these doctrine of Christianity for yourself, I'm encouraging to do it. I know it feels so easy to let somebody else get up on it. You know, the our tradition is to go to church on Sundays and then somebody preach the gospel of the pulpit. Uh, some are very charismatic and some are not. Uh, but the point is, that's not your feeding. That's your coming together, fellowshiping together, but you still need to read the gospel for yourself. I mean, the New Testament, more than anything else, I do recommend you read the whole Bible. But if you profess to be a Christian, read the New Testament. Read it for yourself so you know that when somebody gets on the pulpit, who well, you know, when somebody professes they are uh, squared away, got to act together Christians, that you know that uh, what they're saying lines up with the Word of God. You need to know that. I mean, or you need to be in a Bible study where you can read and ask questions and interact with other people about it. That's what we're encouraging you to do. I'm mean, going to try to start a short clips where Read, learn, learn how to read the Bible. Not learn how to read, but read the Bible uh, chapter by chapter. And recommend you include that in your prayer. 
I mean, if you if you pray every day, which you should, pray in the morning, which you should, pray in the evening, which you should, incorporate reading a chapter of the Bible, the New Testament, in part of your prayer. Just add one chapter a day. Use that chapter as part of your meditation and your prayer. As far as trying to hear from God, it's the word of God that we use in order for those things to happen. So I'm asking you to, to really take time to study the gospel, read the gospel, read the word of God for yourself. It's important. It's your eternal life that's important. Because if you look at, if you based on your faith just by watching people claim to be Christians and you see the actions, the history of people. I mean, it's ugly history. It's ugly. I mean, man, the history of mankind in all, overall is ugly. But there's light in that darkness. And, and we are supposed to let our light shine. Because the doctors would definitely want to let it light shine. And then when you look at the history of the world systems and what they have done, it doesn't compare. So this study, if we're going to go ahead and this is, as customary, this is a live session. I'm going to move into the, uh, I will edit the live session and break them down to 25, 30 segments so you can digest. Uh, so don't forget to, to subscribe because you'll see those videos come out uh, throughout the week. Look at them, study them, digest them, and 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 and, and discuss them with other people, right? Uh, you know, it's it's not about just receiving the study, uh, whether my ministry or any other ministry. It's about discussing, sharing analyzing the topics that everybody wants to do okay so let's let's do that so we're as we go into this session uh we're just going to get into the word of god i think you love it and i know you love it and it's all about growing and it's it's, it's starting to see some changes even in uh older ministry one of the oldest uh christian ministry uh is the Catholic. And what I saw recently, I thought it was very encouraging. Uh, this is the topic I'm adding today, just part of the study. Uh, Catholic Pope is addressing the doctrine of discovery, which deals with steal, kill, and destroy. It basically talked about the fact is that the permission, starting all the way back in 1500, the permission to go and steal, kill, and destroy. The permission to conquer and 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 and, and claim uh, the right to take property, the right to enslave people uh, as a God-given right. And and frankly, that a lot of portion of the doctrine is even today, uh, where people use that same doctrine to discriminate, same doctrine to for racist behavior, uh, that same doctrine of supremacy, and using the, the gospel and thinking you're doing God's work, you're not doing God's work. Because if you're doing God's work, you should see it in his will. And his will is what matters, not what, you know, God bless a pope. God bless pastors and ministers. But any of them that strays from the foundational teaching of the gospel and spread that as truth, you need to understand that is how you can be misled and your eternal life now becomes online because instead of you studying the word of God for yourself, such as the second Timothy 15, you allow false doctrines to come in and operate through the flesh. 
And when, like I said, if you look at the history from, from the Jim Crow law, slavery, crusade, Spanish Inquisition, those are very ugly and nasty history. And, 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 and don't sit there and think that people who are not Christians are innocent because a lot of governments, other types of faith have oppressed, killed, steal, destroyed other civilizations for their own personal gain and power. Uh, all these empires and everything else is all about corruption. Instead of us as a world living together, knowing that we all need each other. We need, we need people who do the farming. We need people who, who do the uh, government infrastructure. We need to be able to live together. And many of us want to do that, and many of us are doing that. But there's many still stuck with false doctrine and still believe that it's okay to steal, kill, and destroy and try to do it in the name of Jesus and then oh, Yeshua. And I'm telling you right now, why it's so important for you to read the gospel yourself is to be able to recognize and point out false doctrines. You, you need to know that. You can't play around with this. <laughs> it's, it's real. <laughs> you people, we know we, we, we do know we have bad popes. We didn't have no bad pastors. We know we had bad ministers. We had no bad deacons. <laughs> we, we know we had bad congregational members. All of us. The history of people who operate in the flesh have been evident throughout church history and throughout mankind. That's why it's important to look and read the gospel because the gospel doesn't teach to steal, kill, and destroy. And no person out there can say that it does. You know, you can't, the, 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 the black supremacist, the white supremacist, the racist person can't point to the gospel. They love to point to the Old Testament, but they can't point to the gospel the teaching of Christ, or even the letters of Paul, and Peter and all the other apostles and writers. You won't point, you can't point to those and say, it was all right for me to kidnap and enslave a person. It's, 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 you don't find that in the gospel, you know? And that's what we, that's what we talk about today. Can you hear me, brother? Yeah, I can hear you. Amen, amen. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Hope I ain't talking to the gate. Look, no recording, you know. <laughs> yeah, I uh I didn't get a uh normally I, I have this on my calendars. And okay. So it goes up every Sunday, but I didn't I didn't add it. So I had to find uh the link. The link from last week, and I was like, man, I hope I didn't delete that link. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's in your email, I think, right? It should be in the yeah. email. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was sitting there with what I was doing. Uh, I, I just came back from uh, Connecticut, moved my door, and I think I told you uh, this week. Boy, that's a long drive up there. Uh, <laughs> but we got it all settled in. But I, I was talking to people, man. I'm saying this uh, as we picked up before. Uh, People need, I'm encouraging people to read the gospel yes. for themselves because that's where you can sit there and be able, and I'm talking to people again, I'm live now, is the fact is that you all need to understand that we as human beings make mistakes. None of us are claiming to be perfect, and, but the point is that you need to, that's why it's important for you to read the gospel for yourself. Uh, we had bad popes, as I was saying earlier. We had bad pastors and ministers and deacons and congregation members that profess themselves to be Christians and have done some horrific things to people. Yeah. And try to say they do in the name of Jesus or the name of Yeshua, and you don't understand. Compare what the scriptures say opposed to what they do. Because the Bible is clear, a tree is known by its fruit. 
you know. And here's encouraging news, and here for Brother Asher, and I, I already showed the title for others. This is encouraging. And I'll show the a clip of it from the article that I read. But Catholic Pope, the current Catholic Francis, uh, is addressing the doctrine of discovery, which is basically the, the permission to go steal, kill, and destroy. Mm-hmm. And to, to exploit and colonize, um, he's 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 going around now apologizing. Uh, the reason why he went up to Canada to uh-huh. apologize. So I, I I wanted I wanted to use that because you know we're gonna I'm gonna show where the Pope Nicholas and some of these other popes actually uh, gave written permission to Portu- Portuguese and Europe. To, to look, the doctrine of discovery, meaning you can discover land, and despite the fact that people are there, yeah. <laughs> they, they're not covered under the grace of God. So you can go ahead and steal. Yeah. Oh, it's steal. our right to do what we want. Exactly. It's like it's like a God-given divine right for you to steal, kill, and destroy. I mean, cause that's really what the bottom line of it is. Yeah. How you don't discover it? How you gonna discover? What church? Ain't no church. Ain't no teaching that Christ gives you permission to go in and take stuff from people. It's not in the teaching. And that's why it's important for people to read the scriptures for yourself. Fellowship. We want you to always fellowship. But the fact is, you're going to find people that's going to try to stray you. <laughs> the devil is clear. He strayed with Eve. He taught them to, and Adam and Eve to, to, to stray off the course. And he had, he's doing it even today. We're not perfect people. And I think that's the other thing about people when they talk about, you know, when you, you get into uh, preaching or teaching the gospel, Christianity, people try to look at you and try to find fault in you. And you know what? You will find fault in every individual because none of us are claiming to be God. None of us are claiming to be infallible. Mm-hmm. We we all got things it was to work on. Because the Bible said to work out your own salvation. Yes, it does. It don't sit there and tell you to watch somebody else and say, oh man, they, they screwed up and jacked up. They act like they know they got to act together or that they never did anything wrong. Yes, people have. Because the Bible says, listen, people, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's why we need the grace of God and the mercy of God to 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 live this life. So what I wanted to show was, uh, God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the uh, second session that we just came through. Like I said, I try to break them up in uh, 25, 30 minute segments. And I try to break them up A, B, C, D. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you listened to the fact that we was talking about the even the Catholic Church, the Pope is, is denouncing or addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is the doctrine of steal, kill, and destroy. Because that's what they did for colonialism. They took people's culture, they took people's land, they took people, and they tried to take that culture and everything else away from them. And that's not what the teaching of the gospel is all about. And that's why I'm trying to t- encourage you to read the Bible for yourself. Read it for yourself. Because that's where you'll learn to be able to recognize when somebody even actions or words or where they line up with the gospel. Too many times we go by what we heard. We go by what we heard because we know that some of the things that we hear lines up with our flesh. And our flesh desires no good thing. Or in our flesh, there's no good thing. And sometimes we have a tendency to go and lead toward the things of the flesh opposed to the things of the spirit. That's why you need to read the scripture for yourself. Don't, don't, don't just go to church. Study the word of God for yourself and learn to live and be able to overcome life by keeping in the word. I have to keep in the word. It's not, faith doesn't come by heard, it comes by hearing. So we need to be able to hear the word of God daily and recognize that we grow. Even the Lord's Prayer, the daily bread, the will of God is on the, is the, on the word of God. So we need to make sure we stay in the word of God. Hey, I'm really glad you took time in this session. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, if you incorporate
incorporate the old, the New Testament in the morning with your prayer, because you should be praying daily as well. If you have the time, let you get an audio book. I like I like audio books, right? Where the the the, the person is reading the scriptures for me, because that way I ain't got to struggle with all the words and all the other stuff. So I, I encourage you to use an audio book or app on your phone that reading the scripture and read that one chapter a day. I guarantee you'll love it because you're listening. Maybe come back here and hear the word of God. And you're also dealing with the different wordings that you may not be able to pronounce. That's just me. I mean, you probably pronounce everything. But for me, I like to read all, I like the other books to read with me. So that's my encouragement. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you when I see you. And thank you again for listening and thank you for your support. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs> This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.